super bright, super bright. So, hey guys, I wanted to go live on our team page and talk about something really important to our business, PRV. PRV, personal retail volume, okay? And that's what a stamp for. I'm gonna tell you how to get banging PRV month over month, okay? Consistent, high PRV. If you work this business, it can work for you too. So, just know, doing this out of love, trying to help you guys really grow your business and where you're at. I thought I muted my computer, but obviously I did not. We'll see about that. Okay, so we're gonna talk about ways to get high PRV. The first one is to party. I cannot say this enough. I cannot drive this home, drill it in, whatever enough. Party, party, party. Um, I used to be a home party girl. That was my jam. And then COVID hit. And I was like, well, how am I gonna get, you know, sales? How am I gonna do this? Like, because this is, this is my full-time job. So I'm like, mm, kind of scared. So I'm not really good. Well, I wasn't really good at online parties. So I had to shift. I had to shift my, my way of working my business and do everything online. But when everything, you know, if everything goes back to normal, when it, you know, the new normal, whatever you want to call it, um, home parties will be a thing. Again, home parties will be a thing. People will gather. Um, and that's where you get to like sit down and sniff and fellowship with people and meet new people and have fun. Like I love to crack jokes and I love to be a weirdo, but that's just who I am. So that's how I normally do it is just party. You can do an online parties, which is what I'm doing right now. Guys, I'm, I'm only doing online parties. Like that's where I'm at. That's how I'm getting my PRV. Um, so I do online Facebook parties. I do Zoom parties, Zoom live parties, uh, Facebook live parties. Another option is basket parties. So I'm trying to get more of these out, but basically that's when you take a basket or a bag whatever you want to call it, put some testers, catalogs, order forms in there, send it to a hostess, she'll take it around, let people smell it, collect orders, and do it that way. So there's lots of ways to do it, but partying is the number one way to grow your business, and I'll tell you why. You're going to get new contacts. A lot of my current customers right now, I had, I had never met before Sensi. I had never met before Sensi. And I hosted a party for a friend, and when I went to their party, um, I met, you know, 10, 15 new people. Then I asked, you know, I said, who wants to host a party with me? You can get free stuff while, you, you know, while we party. And at that party, I'd get two to three people that said yes. And then I would go to their homes and then I would meet 10 to 15 new people. Do you see how it grows? It's not called ne network marketing for no reason. It's, we need to network. And if you're going towards the same people over and over, if you're just doing friends and family over and over, they're gonna get burnout. They're not gonna have money. They're not gonna use enough Sensi for you to go through it. That's why you need to find people who need the product or who want the product. And you can deliver that product to them and also educate them about the products. So network marketing, gotta network, gotta grow, gotta grow those roots. Um, let's see, fundraisers. Fundraisers are a lot of fun. I have done a couple fundraisers and I absolutely love doing them. So you, it's a good way to give back. So you can donate however much of your commissions as you want, whatever, that's your personal, your personal thing. You can do um, fundraisers for daycares, for animal shelters, for um, organizations, people, as long as the organization, person, wherever, knows that you're doing a fundraiser and has approved it, you're fine. You can't say, hey, Sally has, Sally's been sick and she has hospital bills. She doesn't know this, but we're doing a fundraiser for her. That's not compliant. Sally has to know about it and confirm that it's okay. Okay? But it's a great way to give back, same thing, new customers. I do them for animal shelters a lot because I love the animals. I love them and so they always need money when I before I um, had Liam I would volunteer every week at an animal shelter and they always needed money for vaccinations for food for supplies all the things so I have no problem giving back 
to awesome organizations. I plan on doing one next month for breast cancer awareness since we have the breast cancer warmer and I have some friends that have gone through that as well. So you can do that. Fundraisers, great opportunity. Events, events is a great way. So my, my two main sources of PRV always came from home parties and events. That's where I was. <laughs> COVID was like, nay, nay. So I have changed it up a little bit. I've been contacting my other direct sales friends and I'm like, let's do an online vendor event. It's the same thing, online vendor events. Let's do that. Some people are doing, still doing vendor events, but they're doing it outside. So if you can do that and, and, and you feel safe with it and you feel comfortable with it, do that. Events are great. Um, I would look for, if you're, if you're new and starting out, don't spend a ton of money on events. Don't throw down $1,000 for an event, okay? Um, look for smaller events with churches and look around your community. There's lots of community pages. Um, you know, whatever your city is, look for pages and look around there and see if there's any like small festivals or fairs and then need any vendor. So events is really good too. Next is referrals. Who doesn't love referrals? So when I have somebody who has purchased for me and then they come back for their second purchase, I'm like, wait, do you wanna host a party? Because we all know that's where you're gonna get your networking in, you're gonna get your PRB. But if they say, no, I don't wanna host a party, I'm like, well, would you, you know, would you like to have a referral? Like, do you wanna, do you wanna like maybe give my number to somebody and if they or I'll hook you up and they're like oh yeah I'll definitely do that and if they you know if I get an order and it's somebody I don't know and I just referred somebody they say hey you know I referred so and so I had that happen last month I had a girl that I met on Instagram I forgot how I met her on Instagram she wa she watches all of my posts she's never purchased for me never in her life she, she's never purchased for me and I guess that she was had a friend looking for a Scentsy Consultant and she knew that I was one so she referred to me and she made like a $150 order on my website. So referrals are awesome as well. And I sent her a thank you gift for the referral. So referrals, word of mouth, obviously a great way to do it. Follow-ups. Follow-ups. I cannot tell you guys how important follow-ups are. So when I went to leadership a few years ago, um, one of the statistics was 70% of Scentsy customers only order once. 70%. That's because they're not, people are not, people were not following up. I'm sure that number has gone up a little bit because of the, um, the follow-up apps and the follow-up training that Scentsy has offered. But following up is so important. You need to make sure, number one, you need to make sure that your customer is happy with our product. Are they happy with the product? Because that is, that's customer care right there. How many companies would call you after you get an order and be like, you know, like would Amazon call you and be like, did you love that order? Will you make sure you love that order? No, they're not gonna do that. So the personal touch of that is just reaching out and saying, hey, I just wanna make sure you got your order and you love everything. And people are like, yes, I love it, I love it. Building that foundation, you know? Um. Yeah, so that's super important. And you don't want to, like, a lot of people get busy. A lot of people are busy. And they forget. They run out of wax and they just have their old wax in the warmer. Or they they say, you know, I kind of want to go on her website, but it's too time consuming. Maybe she could just take my order. I had that happen the other day. I text somebody for a follow-up and she's like, I actually do need wax. Um, you know don't want to go on the website. I said, that's fine. I, you know, how about I just pick a six pack of fall wax for you and send it to you? She's like, that sounds perfect. She Venmoed me. We were cool. It took minutes. It took minutes. Whereas if she were to go on my website, get confused, maybe not do the bundle and save, um, not know what scents to pick, ask me questions, like it would have taken longer for her and for me. Let's just make it simpler for everybody. That's it. Follow-ups. Okay, follow-ups, you know, remind you to make sure that they got the product and they love it. They also tell you when you need refills. You have to make sure that people are getting their refills because if they're not, if, if like I said, 
what are they doing? Look at all this wax. This is my personal wax stash. Like I go through wax, but a lot of people don't even think about it or they get their laundry product and they're like, oh, I ran out. I'll just go to the store. Well, if you message them and follow up with them before they have to go to the store, then they're probably going to purchase from you again because our laundry is so good. Our laundry products are so good and you can't get them anywhere else. Okay. So follow-ups is super, super important. Um, social media, what, what, social media, so many things to say about social media, but you need to be utilizing social media for your business. A lot of people don't talk on the phone anymore. I think it's really, really weird because when I was in high school, I would call somebody. That shows how old I am. But I would call somebody. I would, you know, we would go drive and meet somewhere and hang out. Um, now we have social media, which can give you such a bigger audience. So, so many more people can see it. Like, why would you not use this free, free gift that you've been given for your business? That's crazy talk. So, social media. I use Instagram and Facebook. That's about is all I can handle right now is trying to figure out how to do that. Had a 19 year old teach me how to add a story. So there's that. But social media, when I'm doing a story and I'm actually like cleaning something with counter clean and demonstrating our products and using the products because I have them in my home. I use wax, I use our diffusers, I use our counter clean. I use almost every single product that we have. We have tons of Scentsy Buddies. I have the bathroom cleaner, I have wall fan diffusers use them. If you're going to change out wax, why would you not put it on your story? So you can show somebody how to change out wax and they might think, oh, I need to change out my wax too. Or, oh, I need to order. I did a counter clean demonstration the other day on my super dirty stainless steel refrigerator. And then I got lots of messages and lots of orders because people saw that it actually worked and they saw me using it and describing it. So obviously you're going to advertise a product that you don't absolutely love. There are things that I don't use with Scentsy. Um, travel tens are not my favorite. Sorry. Oh, sorry guys. Um, don't come at me, but it's something that I don't, I don't really use and I don't really love. So I don't advertise them as much. Does that make sense? But yeah, social media is free. I typically go live with Matt once a month to unbox our warmer of the month. He's been super busy, so we just haven't been able to do that. I did it by myself. Um, also, letting people know that you're a Scentsy consultant. Just put Scentsy in there. Like, we need to make sure that we, it's not all Scentsy, unless you have a business page and you're doing it all on your business page. But I like to have my business and my personal on the same page because my business and my personal, they overlap. Everybody knows that I'm a Scentsy consultant. Everybody knows that I'm a boy mom. That's all there is to it. So when I post, I try and do 80% personal and 20% business because I don't want people to get bombarded by Scentsy, 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 you know, like there are other things in my life other than Scentsy. I love it. I think it's great, but I'm a person and I have other interests as well. And I have other products too that I love. Like I'm going to get my FabFitFun box in. I'm excited for that and I'm excited to open it. People love watching that. We love to interact with other people. So utilizing social media is, is easy. If, you, if you're on a budget and you're like, I can't do vendor events because I, I can't afford them. If I can't do this, this, and this, social media, free, 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 no excuses. The next way to get PRV is by personal use. I always say invest 10% back into your business every month, 10%. I don't expect you to be a brand new consultant spending hundreds of dollars every month on your business. I think that's insane. I think that is insane. And I'm not gonna be the kind of leader that tells you to do that. I know some other companies will tell you, you need to, you need to have stock, you need to, you need to like do all this. No, we're not that, you don't have to have stock if you were Scentsy. I personally have um, some stock because I do vendor events all the time or I used to. So that's why I have stock. I don't have to have it. I always have bulbs on hand, but you don't have to have it. I have my personal stack. Like this is all my Scentsy Club wax that I need to go through. But 
are you using things? Are you using things? What do you use on a daily basis? I use my Scentsy Fresh every day. I use my wax warmers every day. Um, what else do I use every day? I use my counter cleaner every day. That stuff is good, it's like gold. So there's that. Things that I normally use, um, I order and I put 10% back into my business. Um, and if you, you know, if you do that, calculate your paycheck, see what that's gonna be. If you can't afford to buy a diffuser to show off, don't buy one. That's insane. No, we're not here to we're not here to go in debt for a business. That's like the worst idea ever. We're here to make smart choices to build a business that will make you money. I don't know what my hands are doing. So yeah, personal use. What do you use? What do you use? If you can't afford to spend a ton of money and all that, go ahead and pay for your website. It's $10 after the first three months free, it's $10 every month for your website. I'd rather you have a website so people can order from your site and do it remotely than you struggling and trying to buy all these products, all the new products, because you're like, oh, they need to see them. No, let's have a website first. So make sure that you're budgeting, you're putting 10% back in. If you wanna do more, that's fine, but don't go crazy. You wanna make some money. That's why most people join um, Sensi or other direct sales companies. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a job just like everything else. You go to Starbucks, you take a picture of your pumpkin spice latte. Starbucks is not giving you 25% to do that. They're not giving you 25% per cup to do that. So. Make sure you utilize these things, parties, fundraisers, events, referrals, follow-ups, social media, and your, and your personal use to have bang in PRV. Set a goal every month. My goal every month is 2,500 PRV. I have surpassed that every single month for the past, I want to say six months. And I'm on track for earning annual sales, and that's super important to me. So make sure you have those goals. Set them high. Don't say, I'm going to get my minimum and be done. No, especially not in in fall and winter with Scentsy. These are our prime times. So make sure you're advertising the products. Make sure you, you're doing these parties. Make sure you're growing your business and your network. And if you do that consistently, month after month, you're going to see tremendous growth in your business and in yourself and in your paycheck. So hopefully this was helpful. I know I ramble a lot. I know I do a lot of weird hand stuff. I don't know. But I want to see everybody succeed. I want to see if you, if you want this to be a full-time business, I'm here to help you. I'm absolutely here to help you. Even if you want to do it part-time and you want to make some extra money, I'd love to help you do that. I'd love to help you do that. So we are here as a team. And if you have any questions, just let me know. I'll talk to you guys later.